Hey guys, so I got a rubber on my uh, ski on my pro float. So most of you guys that have seen my videos know that I put these Polaris pro float skis on my ski doos and uh, it really helps from that darting. So, but so I guess if you followed my Facebook or Trapper Man post, you seen where I broke through that drift and everybody asked if my ski was broke. And it wasn't, but it was bent straight up in the air. And then last week I was got off the trail and I was backing up and it hooked the ski tip and the ski tip went straight up. Uh, and then I got off trail and was trying to get back on trail and I hit a tree that Somebody was watching over me, so the, I hit it with the bumper. It bounced off the bumper here, <laughs> left that big old dent, and then it hit the A-arm. And so these are what I've always been afraid of on these expeditions, but it actually held up. And uh, that, that tree was four inches in diameter. I couldn't believe it broke it off. And so I was so mad I didn't uh, video or nothing, but. So I'll just show you this, this here. <clears throat> yeah, that didn't. <laughs> But anyway, so when you guys put these uh, pro float skis on these, you have to put the these rubbers on too because the Polaris rubber, if you don't, I mean, you can use the other one, but you have to do a whole bunch of modifying. And so these were, I think 25 bucks or something like that in the, at the Harley shop. So, and let me figure out how it goes in there. guessing it goes in there like that because that's how it was broke so but yeah these have been a pretty good ski I mean I have punished them I'm on my second set of uh, of skags on them but there's 3300 miles or something on it uh, but yeah there that's a pretty good ski uh, the only thing I don't like about them is when you drop this edge off the trail and get underneath that crust, it's hard to get it to come back. It wants to, it just kind of stays under there. But other than that. I carry one. Right here. Roxanne! Oh, don't sing, you're on camera. But then this is something that I make for uh, picking up the snow machine. You guys have probably seen that on my videos. That works on the front too. When you're working on your skis, it's a pretty handy little tool. So. You guys can see it's pretty simple to make, uh, super light. I was always gonna make one that was, uh, you could tear it down and carry it with you, but I haven't done that yet. So, but let's see. suppose if I set her down on the ski, put the weight. Perfect. 
perfect. But yeah, we warmed up a little bit, so it's kind of nice. Stacy's going to take some time off and going to run out to the cabin and and uh, put some more gear out and check some more gear. Hopefully, we'll have a Wolverine or two hanging. But, and the groomer, brought the groomer in and I put that new uh, cutting edge in here. That's the one that was twisted around completely upside down. And then I put a little bigger one in this time. And this one, I patched where it tore out, but I didn't put it in. So it seems like it was actually doing better with that bigger gap. It was. It wasn't chipping. So uh, these, I straightened them out a little bit and, and uh, ground them down. They were, you can see pretty, those are pretty beat up. And that's quarter inch on the edge. So, I mean, you can tell how much punishment that takes. So, and this was just a bunch of scrap iron that I had around the, the, the yard here. Um, I can't, eat, those, those actually came when I brought the property, the, these little, two little frames and then I, I welded them together. Um, and then I weld these, that's a big chain link. I weld on the back for um, tying a rope to it. Sometimes you get in that overflow and, and you gotta cut it loose up front and then you gotta go back the way you came. So you just tie a rope to that. And, but, oh, mom's home. So, but. So yeah, we'll get her ready. She's gonna take some time off. And, uh, but we got the Wolverine and the coyote on the board. They're actually about dry. But yeah, she was a pretty little gal. Hi, babe. How are you? Good. So, so are you taking some time off tomorrow? Getting off early? I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and then I don't have to be back to work until Wednesday. Oh, all right. Well, we're gonna have some fun out in the mountains, so. Yes. But to it. I brought a half gallon, I bought a half a gallon of uh, Fireball, so you can do Fireball and hot chocolate and Fireball and. Gotta get some apple cider. Apple cider, so. I but, to yep. So yeah, this was a super nice coyote here, but 27 pounds. Uh, yeah, really nice. And then Jim Massick brought me in uh, some beaver carcasses. So that kind of excites me to take them out and use them for some bait. Uh, and uh, we'll see what we can do with them. I'm gonna actually chunk one of them up and wire it and use that for uh, Martin bait. I've got a, a guy coming in from Florida for a trapline expedition on the 20th, I think we're going out. So I'll put some more Martin baits out. I'll actually probably bait him the week before he shows up and uh, get him coming back. So, but, well, I think it's time for some lunch. I'm kind of hungry. I, uh, my chainsaw, this is my little still that I carry on my snow machine. I had somebody talk me into getting a still and I'm just not a still fan. Uh, I've had nothing but issues with it. And this last issue was the vent on the fuel line came off. On the, on the fuel tank. So when it was on its side, all the fuel would leak out of it. And I thought it was the cracked tank again because I've cracked the tank on these twice. And uh, I ended up buying another one because I wanted the parts, but I don't, I don't know if it was worth it or not. She's kind of cold blooded. When it's 20 below, she doesn't like to start. My, my Husky will start right up, but yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So, 
but but I like how light it is and it's just not I don't think this is for a trapper so but it I don't like to carry my big saws they just take up too much room and uh, yeah so but we'll see what happens here so well I'm gonna go get something to eat we'll talk to you later